Hello, today we're going to talk about our model number 65, which is our lab burner head and a tank or five and a half ounce can uh, of fuel. Uh, before we get started with the burner head, let's discuss fuel just for a second. So um, we fill these cans here in our factory right here in North Carolina. Uh, as mentioned, it's five and a half ounce can of 99.9% pure isobutane. You want to be sure when you're purchasing butane that you're buying it from a reliable or known source. The reason why is a lot of guys will bring this fuel into the market from overseas. It's not the purity they claim it to be. Months, well I was going to say years, but actually it is months. Uh, people start having issues with their burner heads where the, the flame that was once blue and bright is no longer as dull, it's orange, it's yellow. It's not a result of the, it's a result not because of the burner head's gone bad, but because of the fuel source. And what happens is, as you use dirty fuel, it clogs up the valve in here, and it doesn't let the proper airflow through because it's starting to clog up. So just just make sure if you are using fuel that it is from a known source, whether it be Wall Link or some other brand. So in order to get this burner head on here, we have to turn clockwise. You'll see here at the bottom there's threads at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the head. Your head's up top. You screw at the very bottom. Now here's one thing I also want to be sure that everybody's aware of. When you're screwing this on the bottom, make sure that you put it all the way on here to where it stops. Don't screw it halfway. Because if you screw it halfway, that means it's not seated all the way in on the valve. What happens if you don't screw it all the way, which it isn't currently, you'll have the risk of fuel or vapor or fumes escaping right at the bottom which could result in flames coming out of the bottom of the of your head which you don't want to occur it's too dangerous uh, when that occurs so screw it on all the way until it stops and then you have to have an external lighting source to uh, to light the, the, the uh, fumes that come out of the top of the head so we'll turn it on you can hear the sound you hear a hiss and you light it and of course, as mentioned before, this is your valve to turn it off or on. One cool thing about it is you'll notice at the very bottom here you, is you have holes that lets air into the, the head portion of it. If you want to change the way your flame looks, you'll turn. See how I'm turning this? Let me get a little bit closer. And it'll actually block off you know, notice, watch the difference in the flame. So you can control the appearance of the flame just by clogging up the oxygen or the airflow into the head. And that's really it, guys. It's very, very simple. These lab burners, what's really neat about them is they're portable. They can be taken anywhere, unlike, you know, a big setup where you have external sources, external fuel source sitting outside your lab or your shop. Uh, these can be taken anywhere. Uh, once your fuel source is depleted, you unscrew it, toss your can, replace it with a brand new can, and of course you've got a portable system all over again. What's really neat about Wall Link's uh, branded uh, heads is burner lab burner heads is we also include additional accessories that can be purchased. Your flame spreader, your meeker adapter. So all these things can be used uh, no matter the, the application. Uh, that the individual needs. So, Wall Link branded uh, lab burner, very simple, very short. The only key thing I'll make sure to tell you is to make sure that you get your, your fuel from a known source, not from some over, overseas source where uh, that they could care, really care less about the type of fuel that's in it. Uh, and then to make sure that you, when you're seating the head on your fuel source, to make sure that it's tight on the can. Because if it's not tight on the can, uh, you're running a risk uh, of fire uh, not coming out of the, uh, as it's intended to. So that's it with the number of model 65 Wall Leak Lab Burner. You guys have a great day. Any questions, give us a call, 252-527-4186. We'd love to hear from you. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.